Hello guys, welcome back. Black Ops Cold War campaign part number four, I think we are now. We started off with uh, chasing Arash and Kasim in uh, the first episode. The second op episode uh, we went to Da Nang uh, in Vietnam. And then uh, the third episode we started chasing Volkov. And then it uh, automatically went into uh, Yamantau in the Ukraine where we uh, selected, immediately went into a base. And from there we automatically went to uh, Sunset uh, facility or Soviet facility, uh, more or less. So those were like three main missions that uh, were in the last video because yeah. There was no uh, interference in the uh, safe house. It went from one mission to another, so I had to do it in uh, one vision. And also uh, that meant that it was a, a pretty long video, that last one. But yeah, it is as it is. Uh, we have collected enough intel to do the side mission uh, Operation Chaos. We are still missing one part for uh, Operation Red Circus. So we'll first do the next one, which is the uh, KGB headquarters where we are going to uh, infiltrate with our uh, man Belikov. We have an insider there that we met in uh, in the Soviet facility uh, mission I think it was. So we'll do that next. Uh, let's have a look for the intel. That's the place where we're gonna have to be. Belikov will temporarily disable camera systems, so uh, he's going to be our inside man there. We have a time card sheet. And we have some newspapers. We have a letter to Brezhnev. We have the maintenance order and we have some C4. explained more or less so we're gonna have to plan some c4 here or there i think that's the plan b scenario which kind of suggests we're gonna have a plan b off we go the lubyanka building kgb headquarters in moscow the sleeper agent records are stored in the archives 100 feet below ground in a nuclear defense command bunker your only way in or out is through this high security elevator We'll need proper credentials. That's where our asset, Belikov, comes into play. Belikov has been our source inside the KGB for nearly a decade. He'll get us in. He came through for us in Yamantown. He'll do it again. This shit is crazy, even by his standards. You sure he's on board? An immediate nuclear threat warrants every risk at this point. I'm sure he wouldn't disagree. Sims, get Belikov on the line. Oh, it's not only our headset, uh, sideman, he's head of the uh, KGB. Hello, Belikov on the Establish a secure connection. The line is secure now, my mate. Oh, there is a suspect. There's always a problem. Solve it. I may have trouble getting a bunker key. It could compromise my position. Uh, no, we're gonna try to get the bunker key. So we go for two. Not yet. I know you have this under control. And one more thing. One of our East Berlin informants recently switched sides and fled from Moscow. We have reason to believe he's in the Lubyanka building today. He knows too much about our Berlin network. I'm thinking an early retirement. Good man. Now I know why Hudson thinks so highly of you. We'll meet you at the basement entrance once you have the bunker key. And we also have to take out somebody. Disconnect, please. Thank you. Kamra Belikov. 
You've been summoned to the conference room upstairs. Secretary Gorbachev is here from the Central Committee. Okay, we have a meeting. And somebody fled to Moscow from uh, Berlin. We need to figure out who that is. Attend to briefing. Okay. A lot of stuff happening here. Executive conference. Did the general come through as far as I can take it today? No, not yet. Rebikov, why do these people have names? We need to figure out which one it is. Surveillance. Rebikov's knee. Break room. What's this? Laboratory. War room is restricted, so we're probably gonna have to take this one out and get in there or so. We first have to go to that meeting, I'm assuming. The private office. There's nobody here. There's one guy here. Custodial recruitment office. There's a guy sitting here though. Armory. Okay. What's this? Data entry. Restricted to have guards. Yeah, you see where this is going. We're gonna have, go have to go in there somehow or another. Some of them probably. Let's have a look. All these people have names. Because we need to figure out who are. Uh, Comrade Belikov, have a seat. General Secretary Brezhnev yeah, has Jardin. taken an interest in the new security development. <laughs> Zakayev is here. Is that a guy from uh, Berlin? We can't trust him though. We know that from Warzone already. A mole within the KGB. The committee wants someone from the first chief directorate to oversee Colonel Kravchenko's investigation. <coughs> if you've not met him already, this is Imran Zakayev. <coughs> thank you, Secretary Gorbachev. And thank you all for welcoming me with open arms. I can think of no greater tragedy than a home violated from the inside. The trust and love within a family is sacred. <coughs> Apparently. Not everyone shares your beautiful sentiments. Comrade Belikov, as head of security, I understand you've practically exhausted yourself trying to unearth this man. How has that gone? I am not a patient man, Belikov. Or a compassionate one. We'll frame Until him for it for now. Found, I want security increased around the bunker. Zakayev, do you have any recommendations? We should restrict bunker access. We also want to cultivate closer relationships with all of you. I want to know your hopes, your fears, your ambitions. Be thorough, but we don't want any significant disruptions. <laughs> and you, Belikov? <laughs> Who do you think should retain bunker access during the investigation? Me. <coughs> Are we generals? Comrade Belikov, my apologies. Even your bunker access has been revoked. We can't be too cautious, can we? That doesn't Secretary work. Secretary Gorbachev, I believe it would be best if only General Charkov retains his bunker key for now. Very well. See to it. Very nice. He doesn't trust us. We don't trust him. I've already ordered the bunker keys collected from the men. So we have a problem because we can't. Comrade Belikov, we are in grave danger from the capitalists. Our collective, our very way of life is at risk. The traitor will be caught. 
and he will pay a high price for his betrayal. Belikov, you are dismissed. Sakayev doesn't trust us, that's very clear. So we don't have an access card and we need an access card for the bunker. Use the KGB map to investigate multiple ways acquiring a bunker key. KGB map updates with useful information as you explore, but first open the map and track the camera room. I'm being watched. I need a bunker key. Now first, I'll have to kill the cameras. Okay, we're gonna have to kill the cameras, so we need to be in the camera room. Have you ever been to Poin? It's humbling to see this place. That's over here, I'm assuming. There's a guy there, though. So. Okay, we can't get in here, so I need to take this guy down. Oh, can I help you, sir? Oh, my God. Took care of him. Can shut down the cameras. Cameras are shut down, explore the map to find a way to acquire a bunker key and then let Adler and his team into the building. I have to get a bunker key for Adler. I'll need it to access the vault. <sighs> Unfortunately, Cherkov now has the only one. If I could meet with Cherkov, it could provide me with an opportunity to get his bunker key. Speak with Kharkov's secretary to schedule a meeting. The informant that eluded Adler in East Berlin is now in Moscow for debrief and reassignment. Eliminate the informant. But we don't know who the informant is. So we could get, uh, but then we're not. So we have to be there. To eliminate that informant. If I had a deactivated keycard from the armory, the computer in the data entry could be used, reprogram it and do a bunker key. So we have to speak with the armory guard here. We can get in the armory, we can get a key. That's probably our way in. If I can find out what evidence Kravchenko's men are investigating, perhaps I could use it to frame Kharkov as the mole. Speak with Kravchenko at this checkpoint. Kharkov's plan to interrogate a desperate political prisoner today. Perhaps I can persuade him to take out Kharkov for me. Speak with the prisoner. So those are all different ways to get a uh, keycard. We just need to find... Uh, this armory thing should work, I think. But we also need to eliminate the informant. So uh, let's let's do that first. Well. <laughs> this card is gone. Okay, so that card moves. Where is Cherkov? That's the office. You can talk to him guy to get a meeting. Probably will not work.
we have records we have to pick that lock that's not gonna happen we can't get in here and c unless he lets us in so what can I do for you a yeah, bunker card man so I need access sorry, comrade Belikov, but Zakai has increased security measures you'll need authorization from the war room like anyone else Sure. The guard won't let me in. Uh, I need to get what he asked for. Or I can take him out. Take that guy out, hide him in here. We have no more card there. <coughs> through here okay but we have a guard there watching him here okay <coughs> we will be back we first need to take out that guard somehow Operation Red Circus, okay, that's what we needed. What's going on? Kravchenko, revoking bunker keys and blah blah blah. Reprogram the key. Don't have a spare key card. Please retrieve a spare key card from the armory to continue. Okay, so we need to get into the armory, but the guard doesn't want to let us in. Okay, so that's the armory. So we need to take out that guard, but that guy over there is watching him
but we need to take out that guy. Hey, he's gone. Where is he? He goes all the way here. gonna work because he sees us no no we need to do it the other way around we need to go into the armory take this guy out and then we take that guy out so that he doesn't see us And we need to take him out when he goes there. Okay. If I'm seeing this would be treason. This is a restricted area, so we can't be here. Okay. But we can be here. So we can open the armory. take this guy out because with that guy is out he can't see us and we can hide him here because otherwise if we open the armory this guy is going to alert it can the general see him? he can't so we need to take this guy out before he's visible hello what's up mate I think. 
bit glitchy this one. I didn't want to. I hold it too long. Didn't want to kill him there. I just want to drag him in here, but nevertheless. Stash away five bodies. Okay. Another achievement. Now I can open the armory and get in that armory. Pretty easily. Because nobody can see it. Unless there's another guard somewhere. That comes here, but I don't think so. In data entry, I could program this blank key card into a bunker key, yes. <sighs> Nobody saw us. All good. We can go in here. This is restricted, but it doesn't matter because we have no guards here. And we can program this key card now. So that we have access. So we can reprogram it this time. Access to the secret files, the building, keycard vault. Now I need to head to the basement and let Adler's team in. Yeah, from it. But we still need to eliminate that informant. And where was he again? The recruitment office. Which is over here. Does he see us? I don't think he does. That's that Richter guy again. Okay, that takes care of everything. I need to let Adler and his team in now. Not easy being a double agent, huh? <laughs> Two passers revealed the eyes, eh? That's the Richter file. I tell the coffee machine I want sugar. 
What do I get? Cheap chemical imitation substitute. Unacceptable. I'm putting in a complaint to the head. Could bring him a copy. And poison the copy is also an option, I believe. Well, we don't need to take out these people because we have a key card. The informant is eliminated. Kravchenko, we could talk to him. Can I help you, sir? Doing a security sweep, mate. Love Thank you. to get past security. Luring two soldiers into the tunnel should do the trick. Bielikov here. Send a security detail to meet me in the furnace room. Immediately. Sure you'd come through. I don't have much choice, do I? This key card gives you elevated access to the bunker. What about uniforms? Shh, sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. Uniforms are no good to us, bloody. Там, там, там. Я нашел не запертую дверь. Нету никакого оправдания этой некомпетентности. У нас есть очень строгие протоколы, чтобы это предотвратить. Понятно? Okay, I have to leave, but you should have everything you need. Now, if stopped. You are reporting to Commander Sobel. Got changed. If stopped, we Sobel. Okay. We need to report to Sobel. So we're probably gonna get caught. Here, our weapons and keycard are in the bag. This way. Once we're in the bunker, we're on our own. No metal detectors for us. We're going around. Just 
Куда-то вы направляетесь. Досмотр обязателен для всех, без исключения. Вы должны пройти досмотр. Доставьте вашу сумку сюда для досмотра. Пойдем я лям кобинусти. Дайте нам пройти. Не принимайте это близко к сердцу, товарищ. У меня приказ досматривать всех, без исключения. Товарищ, ты нужен за Кайву. Я разберусь. Спасибо, товарищ. После Вичи, Белико. По-моему, я здесь, нет? Пойдем. Found your buddies. Take us down. No, it's. When did we arrive? Разумеется. Yesterday. Кто ваш командир? Я не расслышал. Надо пьет бизнес. Кое совпадение? Я как раз к нему на прием. Обязательно передам ему привет от вас. Assholes like that, we gotta watch out for. Gear up. They won't be happy to see us down here. Wait for my word. И прежде чем Кравченко успел, оружие на земле. We need to secure our expel. Plant a gas canister in the vent. Good. Let's get to the vault. Bro. 
almost to the vault. much time before they get through. There's the list bell. Copy it to a disc. We're running out of time, pal. We're cutting through. Through the door. Get ready. Here they come. Locking the place down. Follow me. This way. Surrender. You will not get away. This might be a way out. You are surrounded. We are your friends. got Belikov. Time for plan B, Bell. Activate the gas. Drop your weapons and surrender or he dies.
Piece up top. They are on full alert, locking the building down. We'll have to fight our way out. We're gonna need some heavier gear. I know just the place, my friend. There are heavy weapons by the air when they brought me down. We need to arm ourselves before reinforcements. Running me! Right, keep moving. The gear is this way. Let's go! Let's go! Push me! Southwest courtyard in five minutes. Belikov is hitching a ride. Plenty of room in the backseat. Once we get off the elevator, just keep moving towards the courtyard. Get the charge ready, Bell. Let's go, Bell. Time. Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus.
This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the States. It's time to take down Perseus once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. <clears throat> Okie do. Woods. Don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you got my sure as shit guarantee on you. What's up? Okay, okay, okay. Let's have a look. You ready? We have some evidence here. Admission. <laughs> we collected all the information we need, I think. Yep. That also means uh, that we can solve this one here, but uh, we'll keep that for next time. Next time we'll do uh, Operation Chaos and Operation Red Circus, the side missions. And then uh, we have the final mission, which would probably would be a longer one, to uh, get to Perseus. So for this one, we'll keep it at this, part number four. And then in uh, part number five, we'll do the two side missions. Might be a bit of a shorter video. And part number six, we will go uh, after Perseus to complete the story in the way we played it. If you make uh, some other choices throughout uh, some of the missions, then you might get uh, a different outcome. I already saw some different things than uh, when I did it the first time. Like now uh, we captured Volkov, but the first time uh, we had no other choice than to shoot him. He was surrounded by guards, so I was shooting the guards and I actually killed him as well. So those are also options, which of course uh, might mean that you get less intel or so, but not for the side missions, uh, those are things you need to pick up on a table or something, so that is all uh, fine. Thanks for watching for this one. I will see you guys in part number 5, where we will do the side missions. See you in a bit.